All right, let's do some Ozzy. Sweet, Road to Nowhere. You guys ready? We're gonna be using a few chords here. A D major chord. So you have your first finger, second fret G, second finger, second fret high E string. And we got our third finger right in between both of them on the third fret. If you looked at it, it looks like a backwards D when you're looking down. We're tuned a half step down. Every string is flattened by a half step. E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, E flat. Okay. So um, the chords we're gonna go through here's the progression, then we'll break down the, the actual notes. So we got D, A major, open A. You're gonna bar. You're gonna bar those three strings. That's a lazy A. That's how 99% of guitar players play it because we're lazy. Anywhere we can save something, we'll take it. All right. So we got our A major chord. So we're barring the D, the G, and the B string with an open A. We're gonna to go to G. We're gonna do what's called a full G chord. So we got second finger on your third fret of your E string, which is a G note. There's a second fret on the A string, which is a B note. Then we're gonna come down here. We've got a D note down here, third fret on the uh, B string, and then third fret on the E string. Okay, so that's a full G chord. Okay, so we got D major, A major, G major. Minor, back to G, then A, and then another A. We're gonna hang on. Okay, so then check out this part. Oops. So I'm picking a bunch of strings. What I've done now is I've arpeggiated my chord. Arpeggio just means broken chord, playing the single notes out of the chord, <clears throat> and some other notes too. So let's look at the D. Starting on my D string, now there's going to be a pattern here for the first two chords you're going to play. You're going to play your root note, which is an open D string. Then you're going to skip a string, play that one, which will be the B. Come back to the G, so you're gonna come up a string, so we got D string, B string, G string. Then what I did, hit the bottom three strings, coming upwards. Okay, so that's for our D chord. So root note, the first note you hear is your D. <clears throat> then you're gonna hit the uh, you're going to skip a string down and play it, and then the one above it, then drop to the bottom, and play them backwards. Okay, so now we got the A. That's right. Same thing. A is your root. Skip a string down, go to your G string. Now remember we got that bar going on there, right? So I just played my A string, my G, the one above it, and then starting at the B string now, I'm going to go backwards, three strings. Okay, so here's what we got so far. Now we're going to go to G, that full G, right? Here's things are going to get a little bit different. So what I did, I played my G string, or my G note, sorry, on my E string. Then I came down on my G, open G. So what I've done is I've hit the root and the octave. Played the string above it, then grab the three coming up from the bottom. So G on your E string, then your open G, the note above it, the string above it, and then the bottom three strings. Got a little kind of tie between the end of that and the next chord coming up. All I did there, I hammered on, keeping that G chord, I hammered on my open A string to the second fret, which is a B note. Then I played um, the D string, then back to that B note on the second fret of the A string, and then I hang on the open G. 
Ja. Alright. So here's what we got so far, guys. It's starting on D. Down. So we're on G already, that's the third fret on the E string. We're going to use G and then come to F sharp, which is setting us up for our E minor chord. Oops. Okay, so I just did open E string, then it came down to the G, up to the D, then the bottom, um, I think it's the bottom three strings. Sorry, I totally forgot all of a sudden. Just give me a second. Okay, yeah, so yeah. So it'll be the same pattern that we did on the G. Open E string, G string, up to the D. And speaking of G strings, just um, a little quick side note here. For you guys that think it's funny that I say G string and you actually go to the trouble to leave a comment saying he said G string, uh, think about how you want to spend those five or eight seconds out of your life before you go and make a comment like that. Anyways, and the, the reason I'm saying it is because like some of these guys that leave these comments are like 30 years old. Grow up, man. Holy fuck. All right. So where were we? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we got um, the E minor. Coming back, look at that walk up now, got my G going on there again. Okay, so we're doing the same G thing we did earlier, but we walked up to it instead of the opposite where we walked down. Because we're on the E minor, we can hit that open E one more time. Second fret on the E string with your first finger, grab your G note, then you can move your first finger down to your B because you're setting up for a G chord, right? So that, I just set it up. G string, D string, last two, or bottom three strings. Then we're going to go back to A. So we do the first round the same. Now what we're going to do, we're going to add our second finger to the third fret of the B string. That's a D, so we got an A, D chord going on here. We're going to go, we're going from that D we added, so the second fret on the B string, plucking, oops three strings back, taking it off. Okay, so here's from our walk up. And at that point, the, the uh, heavy guitar comes in. Okay, so here's the whole deal from the top. So I'm starting on D. So that's um, the intro to um, Ozzy. Cool. I'm glad uh, you guys are digging these lessons. I really appreciate um, all the comments and subscriptions and requests. Uh, keep them coming. Rock and roll.